Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Chit Chats, the podcast. You're chatting with me, Red Skull Tier. Today, we're going to be talking about a mod of Queen Pwned a Lot. Coming on to Asmin Gold stream, talk about the situation. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. I'd like to respond as our moderator. Okay, this is the same guy from the mm. last video that was talking about it. Okay, this is her. She has not responded yet. All right, you're going to respond. You remember this guy? Okay. I do. We're going to get the real response for, uh, you know, at least the closest thing that we can get to it uh, for this. White Knight's the rescue. Her mod's coming in like a sheep for the slaughter. No, no. I mean, he just wants to explain his pers point of view. What's wrong with that? Yeah, her mod did nothing wrong. Yeah, the, yeah. keep in mind, her guys. Mod has her mod done nothing, nothing wrong, wrong yet. Be nice, guys. Hey, what's up? Yo. Hey, can you guys hear me? All right. Uh, yeah. Yes, Jim. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Attili. I appreciate you setting it up. Thank you very much. Hi, oh, thank you, Attili. And G. hi, uh, Asmund and chat. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I appreciate your time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I appreciate yours as well. I mean, obviously, I'm sure you've probably seen the video. And so, uh, do you think that she cheated? I know for a fact that she didn't. Okay. How do you know that? Okay because I've watched her do it myself live. And I know that and before, if I may, may I have a minute or two? Go ahead. I understand that everyone will call me biased. And I know that. And I understand you are. that as, mm -hmm. and as, and I, I am biased. You. I will admit that right. wholeheartedly and completely. I am biased. Mm -hmm. I've watched her do it personally. I've watched her do it multiple times personally. Now we're going to get into the clarification of personally, because to most people, when you use the word personally, I personally did this thing, therefore I know. It means that you were physically at that location and you personally, physically, personally saw what took place. You were able to personally justify it because you physically saw it. We're going to get into the. Uh, Asmin's going to do a very good job of clarifying that, okay? Because anybody could personally see anything in a video i could personally watch this video and say i personally saw her do it too i personally saw her cheated because i just i just saw it <laughs> you know so let's just keep watching i also helped with communication with mitris the blindfold expert who's been helping her with the setup and everything that now chat chat automatically just goes right into fucking hostile war mode that needs to calm down went through mm -hmm. I'm happy to answer any questions regarding her setup. There is no need for anyone to lie about anything or not be transparent. Isn't. She did nothing wrong. She did not cheat anything. She has not cheated anything. And I understand that there is a lot of skepticism. I understand there's a lot of questioning. And I think that it's important for us to understand that conjecture does not equal proof. There is no physical proof. There's a lot of conjecture. There's a lot of examining many things that are on the table that are that people claim, oh, she did this, she moved that, she did. But there's there's no actual proof that any of this yeah, happened. He, so he when he says that he personally saw it, he means that like he personally saw it. But when it comes to proof, now the proof all of a sudden has to be physical proof. Like there has to be like here it is, here is the proof she is cheating. Right. But he can talk about how he personally saw something, even though he wasn't physically there to actually prove that he saw that thing that happened. You know what I mean? Well, there's no and proof that it and, did and, either. I, I, and, and of course, there is and no proof that she I didn't either. Suggest, yep. and if I may, um, to chat and to yourself, uh, Asmongold, and to anyone who questions whether or not she can and did do this. I, I want to legitimately ask, what would it take to prove that she is indeed legitimate? The reason why someone is asking what they would they could do to actually prove that someone is being legit is to take those set of specific rules, bend them and twist them so that she they have, uh, I'm gonna say she, but we all know what we're talking about here that the specific person who is trying to actually get those rules can look through the holes, bend and twist some things to continue to cheat through those holes, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going to be happening here. Okay, yeah, I am talking. I was like, I might have to been on this entire time, but it totally has. <laughs> that would have sucked. Covering the third monitor, showing a camera with all three monitors. She, I don't know why. 
she didn't cover all three of those monitors. She covered the two. She should have covered the third. She should have put the third monitor in camera view. 100%. There is, like, I don't do um, blindfold runs or, well, I was, I was going to say speed runs, but I don't do that either. I don't do blindfold runs, but I would have the knowledge to, at the least, show all three monitors and that all three monitors are turned off, right? At, at the minimum, okay? And I would also probably have that, like, keyboard hand put um, thing on the corner. They'll, they'll show it in the video later. But I would also have that on the screen, too. Uh, if, if my monitors are turned off, I don't see why I'd have to wear a blindfold. But I guess I would probably still wear the blindfold, though, just in case. But, yeah, I would have shown 100% all the monitors that I have. I, I probably would have just shown the entire room because that's the only way that people are going to assume... Like, even if you assume, uh, showed the entire room, people are probably still think that you're cheating. But, like, the likelihood of trying to prove it is is low because you're showing the entire room. People can look at your entire room. They can look at everything in the room and be like, I don't know, right? But uh, the fact that you're hiding the third monitor and you got the two other monitors covered up, pretty sus to me right there. Editors and showing that there are no other monitors present, showing that she's still wearing the exact same blindfold that was recommended by a world expert used by Mitra's and Bubsia themselves. You know, what does it take? Because I know for a fact that she can do this. She's done it not once, not twice, but several times. Her second attempt is a purely legitimate run that was done with every specification that Mitra's mentioned. And it's met with nothing but criticism which i again i understand i don't think that it's unreasonable to be skeptical but i think that to bend an argument to fit your purpose is not appropriate to say that oh this is what must have happened because this is what i believed happened when it didn't happen she's being accused of a crime she didn't commit and i know that for a fact i'm willing to i'm willing to put money on it so um okay uh, okay all right so Pretty bold. first thing is that why do you think that she tilted her head in a different angle whenever she was wearing the other blindfold? Exactly. Well, the first, you mean the, well, do you mean the second back. blindfold versus the first? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Whenever you're under a stress response, your body reacts differently. You position yourself differently. In the very first run when she's wearing the first blindfold, it was a carefree run on stream done with friends for a random, hey, I wonder if I can do this. It was a completely different circumstance. My Under understanding runs um I have watched multiple um criminal documentaries uh my bad mostly by as you can see right there mostly by this the explore with us guy we just unzoom oh, I, I forgot how to unzoom uh multiple can I scroll through I even started watching that I watched that I have watched multiple. Why is he on here? <laughs> I have watched multiple of these videos. I can click on the page and go to videos and I've watched a lot. Okay. Probably a little unhealthy worthy of a lot, but I watched a lot because it's just, I find it interesting. It's like, what the fuck? Anyway, I can tell you that when someone is stressed with confidence, when someone is stressed out, they tend to block and they tend to, uh, what would be the word here? I guess trying to keep all of you together as close as possible to block out whatever's going on. Okay. So if she was under that amount of stress, she wouldn't be laid back and chill. Okay. Um, there is just like, you can, you can go watch the documentaries that I've watched. It'll tell you. And, it's, and they, they've been analyzed by professionals. The dude says it himself. They've been analyzed by professionals. And uh, so whatever is said in the video has been analyzed by, by professionals. So they, the professionals, multiple of them, would know what they're talking about, right? So, again, in intense situations, most of them are, are I want to say hurdle, but I don't think that's the right word. But they're like, they're close. They're, they're enclosed in themselves, okay? Enclosed, blocked off, right? To produce that amount of stress and being kind of like a chill 
laid back kind of attitude, it doesn't really seem to me like you're stressed out. It also like you're smiling a lot too. M maybe that's part of it. I I personally can't say that for sure, but I do know that if you are in stress, you are going to lean forward and be a bit more focused than what you are going to be laid back and chill. Okay, if you're under that amount a pure, a pure amount of stress, right? So mm -hmm. my understanding of the psychological body language, whenever that happens, people usually actually huddle up more. Yeah, huddle, to yeah. protect their like I, want, their I don't know why I said body, because that's where your organs are. That's <laughs> yeah, where, exactly. You know, uh, oh, I'm, I, a, I, I'm a physician. I'm a physician. You, you don't. That's not. That's not true. true. It's not entirely no, it's not true. Not well, which true. one is more no, true not, than the other? Well, people have different physiological responses to stress. Sure. Sure. And so, so her changing her body. But most people would enclose. They would put a barrier between something, or they would huddle. Right. Body position or head whatever position he said. I'm pretty sure he said huddle. Is in, in one way or another, it, it doesn't mean that she's trying to position herself to see something or to maneuver something. I mean, if you, I, I wouldn't, I would even, I'd ha be happy to send you the same blindfold she used. I would encourage you to try to do what she's been accused of doing and to see just how difficult that would even well, I mean, be. I could barely do it with the blindfold off, all right? So I don't I don't want to get that far. And and, and uh, congratulations by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're we're yeah. all very happy for you for, I, for I getting that kill. Yeah, we finally finally thought we got it. But um absolutely. let me move the mouth off yeah, the screen, my so, bad. Yeah, <laughs> so all right, so you think that it's legitimate oh, shit. and you think that the way that she was sitting was just purely a stress response and I, it wasn't I, her. I don't if I may, I don't think I know. I know that it is legitimate. Okay. If you know, I want you to prove it though. How can you prove that you know that it's legitimate? That's that's what everybody wants to know, right? Without so, a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Can you okay. prove it though? Um, Correct. So, have you seen her do it in person? Yes. Okay. Um, like not over camera, but literally you no, being physically no, I have, in I have, person. I have, I have been yeah, standing exactly. in the same exact room. Yes. Okay. And so. I was like, I have to backtrack here. I was talking. Let me just think about this. For and, 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 I and I would be okay. happy to say, I mean, the, the, the most direct response, right? The easiest Occam's razor is, well, let's just have someone watch it live, right? I understand that. I understand that it would be simple to say, well, let's get someone in the room, a verified expert, a bona fide person. Oh, sure, the, sure, the, yeah. The, 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 the Pope, even, right? Right, of course, um, naturally. But, but, but I also want to bring up the point that it doesn't seem like anybody else has been held to the standard that she's been held to. We have CSI investigating experts that have been going to every single length, looking to even the reflections on her phone, trying to analyze what's on that screen. And yet no other professional has been held to the same standard that she has been. No one's Why asking everyone else is? to have. There's a reason for that, well, though. Well, I think it's because of the initial conjecture that she faced when she did her first run. And she's, she is a nobody that decided to do this on a whim, and that caught the entire world uh, by storm. Sure. I understand. That it's a it's a person who's a nobody. You even said it yourself. When this all started, she had two hundred fifty yeah, followers. Something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, she has Pretty exploded good, practically overnight. She's been killing this monster for years. Mm -hmm. Decides mm -hmm. to do something that shakes the world up, turns the world on its feet mm -hmm. or on its head. Excuse me. Creates a world record practically accidentally, and how unlikely sure. and crazy that is. And and I will argue that just because someone thinks something is improbable does not make it impossible i hear the word there is a very good example that i will let asmongold talk about later in the video word impossible being thrown around a lot and something can be very improbable screen, <laughs> but still possible and when you have done something so many times and are a true expert at one particular thing you can do a lot of things that many other people can't do well, she's well, not a blindfold person She's not. She never has been. She's not a professional blindfolded speedrunner. So then, how do you she think tried... she was able to, uh, like, rebalance the camera? Because I think because that's she... been that's one one of the main sure. points of difference. Sure. The person who taught her how to fight that monster is one of the world's leading experts, Asriel. When they when uh, when they're talking about rebalancing the camera, they're talking about her being able to know that she's looking up or looking down. And is able to put herself somehow back on the dragon. The camera goes back on to the dragon, even though she's looking up or down. Uh, I have not done speedrun tests, or I don't know why I keep saying speedrun tests. My fucking bad. Okay. 
I have not done blindfold challenges. Um, I've done one where I closed my eyes playing Dead by Daylight, but I don't have that on record. But uh, when you can't see, you can't see. So you don't know if you're looking up or down. You don't even know exactly where you're looking. I'm going to use an example because I fucking love Monto and I wish he'd come back to fucking doing videos. <laughs> He's doing... Uh, the only time I ever did a blindfold... It wasn't really a blindfold. I just closed my eyes. But it was for like... I would I would start the game and close my eyes and then see where I would end up. And most of the time, I either end up looking up or looking down and then huddled up against a wall or a rock. <laughs> it's usually where I would be. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere or on a hook <laughs> like that's usually where i'd be it was it was fun it was a good time i didn't really care um but you can watch a few seconds of this clip and you can see the gauge where i'm going there's so he, he knows this. where that generator is because he hears it of course i can't but he doesn't know how far away it is there it is okay my bad he doesn't know that there's a survivor on it where am i going So you see how no he way. gradually started so looking up, right? Look stupid. So he doesn't know that he's looking up, but he's like imagining himself still looking how straight. How far I am behind there. Now he's trying to run. He can't. I don't know where I'm going. Yep. Just gonna keep pressing space. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> is he, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Nobody's doing. He has no idea. What is he doing? There we go. What is he doing? He let you Don't go. Don't tell me right now. He let you he go. Left he doesn't. Me, didn't he? he 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 felt sorry. He had no idea what you're doing. He let you go. I don't know what's <laughs> okay. happening. I mean, he's still looking up. He has no idea where the fuck he is. Thanks. Right? Yeah. There's the pickup. He puts it back on. He's running. All right. Right. So he has a general idea of where to go after. Cause like it's a it's a PVP game. You have to give him a little bit of a headroom, right? To at least have a chance to go somewhere. So after that, he puts the blindfold back on. He starts running into walls and shit. I don't know where I I'm going. Hit. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't know that he's not looking straight, so he's always oh, gradually shit. looking up. After, uh, he will gradually go from center to looking up every single time. Right. Sometimes he'll look down, but it's not that common. Okay. I think he's looking down so that uh, he's trying to look down as much as possible so that when he goes to a vault, he'll still vault over whatever he vaults. Because if he's looking up, I don't know if it'll work or not. I would assume it wouldn't. People who are blindfolded do not know if they are looking up or down. That's the whole point. Okay, They don't know if they're looking up. They don't know if they're looking down. I mean, you just got to turn your, they won't really know which direction they're going side to side either, but because the dragon makes noises, uh, you can have a general idea of like the dragon is to your right. Uh, but how do you know if you're looking up or down? You only know the dragon is to your right. That's all you know, right? I don't give a shit if I'm- so that's, that's the whole point of that. Okay. Who has 8,700 kills on the monster and what taught her to how do? to do it. Well, because it's, it, it teaches her how to do it the exact same way every single time. And the camera... But is she wearing the blindfold while doing that, though? No, I don't think she was. Balancing is actually not that hard to do. Yes, I myself is. am no expert. I can't do it. But other people that have very well, similar kill counts it's are not, able to do it. If it's not that hard to do, then why can nobody else do it exactly. in the blindfold community? I don't, exactly. Because I think it's too early. I think that this is in it's such a fledgling stage. You saying it's too early for any other game? Because like, you know, you there's mean? for example, like, you know, like little Aggie, right? Uh, mm -hmm. He's also a speedrunner for Sekiro. Mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. he's probably killed a lot of the bosses in Sekiro mm -hmm. probably that as many crazy, times, though. if not I more times than game. she's killed Altrion. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and he's using lock on. So like, well, how is sure. it that every single other person in this community is not able to rebalance their camera in any circumstance on any game yeah. in any capacity Ever. without a lock on mm -hmm. but she was 
She easily can. Very easily. I'm not a blindfolded expert, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But I will but I will say that again, I think that if people in Monster Hunter specifically with yeah. this particular game, I think that if people had enough time to continue to try it, I think that you'd be surprised at the number of people that are able to do it. Well, that number I'm right now saying, would be zero. That number is, yeah, zero. Well, that number might be one right it now. It might be one. You're right. It, it might, might be, be one. one. And, but the and chances again, of it being one is I'm not, slim. I'm uh, not trying to diminish the unlikelihood of what we're witnessing and what we've seen. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that it's completely, uh, that, it, that it doesn't seem absolutely astronomical. I understand the skepticism. I yes. think that it's very well-founded skepticism and very well-founded questioning. But, but the thing that is um, becoming increasingly frustrating is this idea that, I, I, you know, with the first run, I get why people are, are all up in arms about that. Sure. So we did everything we could. And when I say me, we, I mean Queen and myself and her other moderators and those that know her very well that helped her to get these mm -hmm. things set up so that we could do it legitimately so that we would take those questions off the table. But you didn't do it legitimately because you have a third monitor that's not covered up off camera. There is no the legitimacy is now out the window. You have a third monitor to the right. People know it's there. You know it exists. It's there. And it is not covered up and it's not on the camera. There is no legitimacy anymore. It's gone. And and we, we did that. And then it was met with initially after you covered it, everyone was over the moon. It was amazing. It was fantastic. And then Unfortunately, there were people that just still weren't convinced, and then they decided to double down on the skepticism. And still, reasonably so. Sure, that's fine. But to claim, well, oh, no, it has to be this way. It can't, it, it's just not possible. There's no way she can do it. But she did it. Well, and she can do so, it again. So based off of that same argumentation, uh, mm -hmm. if you look at the other guy's video, um, I'm trying mm -hmm. to remember who the, uh, what, what his name was in this video, and he actually used the same controls that she did using the same blindfold mm -hmm. yes, and yes, uh, Jesse, okay. yeah. So he did the exact same thing the that she did mm -hmm. under she, the same controls. Well, 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 hold on. She, he did not do the exact same thing she did. How? He did use the same, he, because he did use a third monitor he did look from his blindfold at a third monitor and completed the run with by looking through the blindfold at that third monitor that's correct yeah queen pones a lot did not do that did she look at obs she... through the third monitor no how do you know that how do you know because i know okay i've seen her we can't do believe me bro i know statements we we, we you need to put evidence forward like something you know do this i've seen her do this how I would you expect anybody not. else to believe that yeah i i i welcome the skepticism but i'm then also why questioning she... whether yeah what, why I'm hasn't happy. she well, responded I... to it at all well because she was waiting for everyone's response including the second video from carl jobs and including your response yeah sure that's fair too and and i i can tell you without a shadow of a doubt mm -hmm. that she can replicate it any day of the week at any point, under any circumstance. So what I you're saying is that if we provide, if the community provides a set of framework and constraints, in that case, she would be able to replicate the exact same thing. Absolutely. Okay. Here's, here's, here, may I, may I offer a suggestion and you tell me if you think it's fair? Sure. I think I think that she could cover all three of her monitors as she did on her stream. You should turn them off. They should not be on. She could show Discord so that she isn't accused of someone being in the Discord call providing her directions. She could show her task manager to ensure that there are no other programs or third-party software is running. She could show her download and installation folder for Monster Hunter to show that there are no auto-aim programs or damage modifications or anything else. And then she could do it again live. On stream. Um, Would that be... And, and, and show a camera or two cameras depicting all of her monitors that nothing else is being shown 
I think that there probably have no to be one. like I. I mean, at this point, S someone has to be I, there. I'd really have to think about it because yeah. it's something that's like very complex. Like she did it once. People said that blindfold is not the right blindfold. She then went out and immediately did it again and got everything. She it was so fast, so quick. She got everything ready, did it again with the guidance of a professional blindfolder uh, who did many runs, who suggested what she should and shouldn't do. And now, even with that, people still don't believe you, and they're calling out the lie that most people are going to assume is true because there is 100%, without a doubt, a third monitor on the right. And she had OBS up on the main monitor, and she put the paper over it, and then clearly, with the input, moved it to that third monitor. Okay, there was nothing else on that screen that could have been moved other than OBS. And OBS was on that monitor, and she moved it to the right, based on the input from the video that we watched yesterday. Okay? <clears throat> and this is something that's kind of new to me. So someone... I would even argue even two professional speed blindfold runners at this point, because like there has to be no bias and it has to be done by professionals and they have to watch her do it. Okay. She is trying to do something and claim something that has to be proven true. And if it's proven to be true, people will easily leave her alone and move on. Not a lot of people, but the majority of people with reasonable thinking will just move on. Especially if a lot of professional blindfolders say, okay, this one is legitimate, right? This one is legitimate. The other ones could, could also be legitimate, but there is some skepticism there as to why they're not, okay? Easily move on, no problem, right? But two people, two professional blindfold people have to set it up and have to be there. Simple as that. To me, so I'd have to really think about how many controls you would need. Okay. But I think that one thing that you would clearly need is that you would need a camera behind her yep. and sure uh i i i would have to say that yeah probably a full room do camera. a do a camera behind her that depicts everything in front of her and then do another camera for the full room okay everything in that room and then uh just the face cam and that that should be okay with the inputs and the monitors have to be turned off camera to actually effect. look at what she's looking at and then also why but someone has to check what's opened on the monitors before she turns it off why wouldn't she just turn the monitors off yeah that interferes with her stream interface so when she turns the monitor off it changes her windows around it can be very discombobulating on stream now i i did def i did defend this because uh i've had monitors where if i turn a monitor off and there was like a game on the monitor. Like I would accidentally hit the button when I would rage quit in Call of Duty. Um, so I'd hit the monitor, the button on the monitor and the game would go from this monitor to that monitor. I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> but um, that problem has been fixed and it was a long time ago. So don't ask me how I fixed it. I have no fucking clue. Uh, YouTube has the answer for literally everything, even back then. <laughs> so, As you mentioned you in your private video, she's not a huge streamer. It's it's not something that she. How would turning the monitor it, off affect it? I, well, I don't I don't personally know because I'm not there sitting there messing with her setup. But I I from what she told me, the reason why she didn't want to turn her monitors off for the second run was because it would interfere with her stream. Hmm. And that's why she chose to cover them. I can't Again, really. The, uh, I, I can't really but, say. But Asmongold knows. Say, like, whether that's true or not. But after using OBS for many years, I cannot think of a single instance where turning off a monitor will affect the inputs and the OBS read of that monitor. Mm -hmm. That's fine. OBS yeah. was not on her third monitor. It was not on her monitor that she uses. For but you cannot prove that it wasn't on her third monitor. That's the issue, right? And there is no camera looking at that third monitor. And OBS was up on her main monitor before she covered it. Chat. Really? So you cannot how would prove you explain, it. This is the problem. Like, for example, the the uh, the button presses, <clears throat> the ten second button presses that yeah. are then moving to the right. Yeah. I don't know what she was moving. 
at that point. Well, but whenever she was, a... well, like sure. whenever she was setting it up, she mm -hmm. was moving the mouse, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure. Like I'd have to go back to like the initial so video. When, yeah, but so you, when she put the paper on, you can oh, wait. see the trajectory because she does have a mouse tracker along with the trajectory of the mouse. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure even even right there, you can still see that OBS is. I think OBS is still up in that picture. See if I can zoom in on it. No, I can't. It only zooms the uh, the YouTube. Not the actual thing. Unfortunate. How did I have this? Like that, I think. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can see. But, I mean, this bottom part right here looks like OBS is still there. And this is her putting that paper on top of that monitor. That she's holding down the mouse button and then moving and dragging a uh, to the right a window around mm -hmm. like this. That's correct. Right, right. I, I, sure. I know. I understand what she's been accused of. I, I understand that. Okay. And I don't know what m window she was moving into where, but I know that she did. There was only one window on that monitor. Not move it to her third ch chat monitor in view. Or excuse me. She did not move OBS to her chat monitor and look through her blindfold to watch OBS to complete her run. Mm -hmm. and but how do you know that? How do you know that? Exactly. I've seen her do it. Did you see her? It. She doesn't need it. Well, no, so I wasn't she doesn't in the room. So, so yeah, you didn't, you did well, what you're saying is like, you didn't see this one, but it that would not make logical sense to you that she would fake this one whenever she did other ones with watching you or with you watching her. And it was the same thing. That's correct. Okay. And, and again, if, if we want to put the that particular argument to rest would it be would it make sense along that logic to say well if she covered all of her monitors so that there's nothing that can be seen at all then would you agree that that would be consistent but why didn't she do that the first time enough if she no. can perform no the i would same want i would no, want it's... her to show me what the problem is with obs and why she yeah. can't turn the monitor off. why she can't turn the monitor off yep the monitor has okay. to be turned is off it... Is it is turning the monitor off the same thing as covering it? No. Is that not no? Sufficient? It's not. No. No. You have to turn it off. It has to be completely okay. turned off. My my question is why? That, I mean that's fine. Because uh, because you could have thin enough paper so that on the camera it looks like there's nothing being displayed on the monitor, but in fact in real person you can still see a bit of the game through the thin piece of paper. Paper is not a valid option. Turn off your monitor. I, I'm, I am not a blindfold person, but I have put paper on many monitors to, to even trace something. TVs, monitors, whatever, just to trace something. And even I know that a paper is a dumb route, okay? <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm, again, because I'm it not removes a, I'm a not variable. A... Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very and simple. the variable is the paper is too thin. She can see through the paper to see where the boss is. You're going to 100% get that argument right off the bat. Uh, it removes the okay. variable of uh, potentially being able to see through uh, yeah, what the exactly. pictures are. Yeah. And if it's, it's just okay. simply removed, thing it would off. be gone. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Sure. It is. Very um, fair. I have let, to, I, let's, yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to uh, – let's say she does these things. I mean, the, the, the one of the re other reasons why she hasn't responded, and we've been talking about this throughout the week as we've awaited Carl's video, is there's this idea, as you're aware of, is moving the goalposts, right? It, it, you know, that, that like we mentioned before, and like she mentioned, and like you even mentioned, that if, if someone doesn't want to admit they're wrong, they'll look for any reason they can to continually shift the blame or to come up with some other excuse or some other reason sure. as to why they suspect that she's cheating. So my, the reason why she hasn't responded is this idea that, well, even if she does it under all of these, these stringent specifications and all of the things that everybody's mentioning to her and it takes all the advice of all the professionals and all the experts and whoever else questions it, and then she does it again, well, then what are they going to come up with? I mean, this, this person did something that I think should have been in a way celebrated, and she's been abused, harassed, threatened. It's not been fun for her. Of course. Yeah, um, I get that. And so I, I think in terms of moving the goalposts, like what my goalposts would be, frankly, don't really matter. And mm. so like, I don't want to set up a group of parameters because I think that if anything, the one thing that the Carl video showed me is that it showed me that I don't know what I don't know. 
And if I was ever going to set a group of parameters for this, I would consult with people that know a lot more about yeah, it than I do. That's why I'm recommending one or two professionals to actually set the whole thing up under the guidelines of whatever the community wants. That's that's the only and best way to go with this entire situation right now. Because at this point, I'm I don't I'm not confident yeah. in my ability to fully because not only did she lie the first time. But now it's expected that there's a third monitor involved with OVS. So now she can't even be trusted to do anything by herself now. That's that's now we're at that problem now. You cannot be trusted, right? You lied and you can't be trusted. So now we're going to do this third option. Hopefully you can redeem yourself. We're going to set the guidelines for you instead. Okay. He assess the situation in an accurate way. And I think this mm -hmm. video is made by me we, I mean certain like of that professional reality. In the community. I, I don't, I'm not, not me. I, I don't feel bad about that or anything. <laughs> it's just that you have to know what you don't know. True. And, um, Und understood. And, so and I'd have to talk that, to these and, other and, people and figure that out yeah, myself. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I agree with you. In a way, too, mm -hmm. that the same thing happened to her. She did her initial blindfolded run on a whim on stream with no particular uh, set of guidelines. She didn't know what she didn't know either. So she reached out to a, a, a credible expert who was a world record holder in that community and, and followed the exact specifications that he set out. Well, what and what is his opinion? Now, we have to know, one, we have to know what he said, and two, what his opinion is. Well, I guess what he said would be what his opinion is. Of this. Yeah. I've spoken with Mitch Riz, and he is on the fence, admittedly. And one of the things that he mentioned in his initial message, this is why she actually didn't cover up her monitors at first when she was thinking about setting yeah, it up. Yeah, sure. He flat out he flat out said, if you if you have a proper blindfold on your face, it wouldn't matter if the monitor's in front of your face. And well, so true, she actually wouldn't. kept the monitors blocked with any game put information input information on it as an added proof to, to again to remove that variable. I would, but if she really wanted to remove that variable, you should have just turned them off. Want to see why the uh, what the OBS problem is? Yeah, I want okay. to see uh, what that I, OBS I problem is yeah. because I don't I, believe that. Like I've streamed for many years, I've set up many streams. Mm -hmm. I cannot think of a single instance in which OBS would not be running. Like, uh, for example, right? Um, I'm going to turn off my monitor right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Is the stream still on, guys? No, I don't. If I if I understand her her issue correctly, and again, I yes. don't know exactly what she means. No. <laughs> but I don't think that it's that it turns the stream off, but rather her windows and themselves, because of the display settings on her various monitors, shift all of them around. And it's in in a, in a high stress situation on stream, live in front of a couple hundred people, which is a large audience for her. Sure, that 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 can get very stressful and under pressure. She didn't want to have to do all of that amidst the run when the world was watching, and so she thought, well, if I just cover them, and I can't see through the paper, and I have a blindfold on, and this blindfold expert world record holder says I don't even need to cover them if I'm wearing the blindfold, then that's just an added proof, an added check, an added variable that I can take away. Did you to did prove she print out the paper on stream? Hmm. Did she? So now he's trying to ask that if she bought the paper <clears throat> and put that logo on it, what did she buy the paper? she could have bought it and the paper's probably really thin right you print the paper on stream yeah uh this no what i'm going purchased to purchase ahead of time so you're saying that whenever she made the constraints for it she wasn't under that pressure oh, okay no we're going to a different topic i'm sorry i don't understand what, you, what you mean so the implication was that the reason why she didn't turn off the monitors and fix this issue oh. was because she uh, was actually the... if i i'm sorry i just got a message from mitch Riz. he's actually watching right now he's the world record holder he would like to know if You'd want his opinion Can you included. Uh, Get him in the Discord. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? Put him uh, on in here. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you good. Okay. Hey, um. So you said you've been watching. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I I I just joined like two minutes ago. Oh, you probably uh, saw the video though, right? My, my bad. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw the yeah. video. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your thoughts? Uh, uh, so I'm I'm just a hundred percent on the side of you know evidence letting people prove things you know things coming to where they are not leaving anything on belief and uh 
the evidence right now, I think, and I've told Dapper this, I think the evidence right now points pretty uh, strongly in the way of not meeting, uh, I would say, the proof that would be needed for blindfolded. Um, you know, I'm trying not to, like, put it too harshly. But, if you were uh, that's, to create a I'm percentage right of, like, <laughs> I love the likelihood based off of the evidence that's been, pre been presented to you uh, that it was real after seeing the Carl video, where would you put that percentage that it was real? Uh, I'd put it in the very low percent, uh, not zero, because I can never give 100% certainty of anything. Never, yep. How about 99? Yeah, but uh, uh, 97? maybe... I, I could probably go 97, honestly. Okay, all right. So the, yeah, that's about right. Okay, and so you basically gave her some insight into... So you've killed the boss. You've killed Altrion. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry. No, I've not killed the boss. I'm an expert on blindfolded in other games. Okay. My main game is uh, Sekiro that I've done blindfolded. That's okay. Important. So what makes you, Damn. beyond the information that you saw provided in the videos... What makes you an like, what what makes you think that it's so low percentage that it's real? Is there anything uh, that like, for example, like Carl didn't have in his video, or I haven't caught? Uh there there is uh, a yeah. couple of things. So right. well, I mean, the biggest thing is is from the get go, the camera movement, of course, was. Uh, Humanly impossible, I think, is a good way to put it. Where it's not impossible, impossible, it's just humanly impossible. As in, we've never, ever seen anybody throughout any game, not Monster Hunter, not Sekiro, not Elden Ring, not so, so you you're know, any other game. Because that's what I yeah. said, too, is that I've never seen somebody in a blindfolded run not run around randomly not knowing what their camera is because yeah so you play sekiro sekiro has a I, mean, I even showed that with, uh, with would Monta. you yes. be able to complete a sekiro blindfold run without lock-on i doubt for it for the bosses i'm trying to think if there's any i doubt it that i could <laughs> well there's one but we use a, a cheese we kind of stick them in the corner uh but Fair. for legitimately fighting running around trying to find them there's only one boss that we do that occasionally because the lock-on just breaks in the game. It's mm -hmm. a little wonky. Um, and basically the goal is just to get the lock-on back as fast as possible. So I would okay. basically say no. If I if the lock-on breaks and I was never able to get it back, I don't think I could. Okay, I, I don't think so, I would kill the boss when I pulled it at all. And how many times do you think you've killed? Are you talking about Kenichiro, how you get him in the corner and you hit him with the left side of the sword? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's okay. the one that we we stick him in the corner. The one that yeah. I was talking about, where we can br is sometimes the lock on just breaks, is uh, Gyobu. Um, sometimes he just runs too far away, and the, oh, the lock on yeah. just goes away. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, how many times have you killed those bosses? If put in a uh, at least thousands. At yeah, least at, at the very least, that blindfolded so, or not and that's blindfolded. individual boss. You're saying you've killed each boss thousands of times, or you've collectively killed all the bosses thousands of times. Uh, both. I mean, okay. uh, in terms wow. of, Damn. I can bring up my live Damn. split and tell you my attempt counter for speed yeah, runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. The man even has proof. Let me bring it up. Let me grab that. It's not going to be 100 percent accurate because sometimes of splits get that's reset okay. and split well, at least you got something. Categories, but using another computer, maybe I have no idea. Uh, I don't remember if I ever did another computer, but for specifically any percent, I have an attempt count of 6,292. 6,292. Okay, That's a lot so of fucking logically you would assume for that, attempts, I mean, and those are blindfolded runs? No, there's no way. No, those are yeah, not okay. blindfolded. Okay, uh, just... let me check blindfolded splits. May I interrupt uh, and ask a question while we're waiting? No. I want to know what this Go percentage ahead. is. God damn it. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> um, okay. Forgiven. I guess the question that I wanted to ask in the long run is if you could set a set of standards that we all could agree on and she could repeat it. Would the it only believed? way that I could do that would be if I was able to have somebody watching it in real life. Yeah, uh, someone I don't someone has one or two people, I would I even argue two, would have to be there watching it in real life and looking at it 
think there would be any way at this point. Because there is no other too way. Much uncertainty. Yeah. I think that you can control for almost any variable. So unless everybody else was in a consensus about this, uh, about creating certain controls that people were were certain about, uh, you would need to have somebody there actually watching it themselves. Mm -hmm. And then Physically also that there. person would need to have a degree of competency beyond a layman, such as myself. Yep. So, so I think that that's and, probably uh, I the have bottom. Offered, it would have to be one or two professional blindfolders that know the ins and outs of cheating and everything else so that when something happens that's a little weird, they can say, hey, you're fucking cheating. Why do that? Okay. And, then, and then prove it right then and there that she is cheating. Offered to do that as a, uh, a me and Dapper have, uh, I don't know if this is a leak. Sorry, Dapper, but uh, we've talked about the the potential to uh, to have that happen. I would I would be happy to to see it and have my my mind changed. I might be one of the mm. only people left that in the blindfolded community that has a you know percentage that isn't basically a hundred. Um, but yeah, for blindfolded attempts, I found it. I've done a hundred and sixty blindfolded. Uh, runs to get my current PB of an hour 33. It's a long run, so I, it's hard sure. to get that. Okay, so you had more. done more runs than she had for all a tray on that yeah. were blindfolded. In a different Because game. whenever yes. she initially was talking about how many attempts did it take her to kill the boss blindfolded, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Dapper, but I'm fairly certain you said that, or she said that it was under 20 and potentially even under 10. Yeah. Is it? At I remember in of... one of her videos, she said half a dozen. Yeah, at the first attempt. Okay, at the, at so the six. Attempts. Six. That's, that's so, correct. so there were six attempts. And so after... So she, did, was... she made six attempts blindfolded. Her, her second run, she took six attempts to perform this on stream. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a total well, of what eight, about the I would first say. run, whenever she did it blindfolded the first time? Yeah. I don't she know just how many did, times uh, she practiced beforehand. But, but it, was a, stream, it was a handful, it was... though, right? It, it, a handful on stream yeah. and probably about maybe a dozen, maybe two dozen off stream. Right. Well, okay. So practicing, definitely practicing, a lot. Pra practicing with a friend, directing mm -hmm. her in with a hunting horn, moving around mm -hmm. the map, who was not blindfolded. Completely different set of circumstances. Yeah. It was definitely. not intent. It was it was not intended to be a solo run. It was supposed to be a, an on stream, carefree, fun thing with a friend, working with her in the hunt. Completely different apples to oranges comparison. Sure. Um, yeah, I understand that. So it does seem to me that it is very uncertain that, like, for example, uh, I'm trying to think if there's another boss in Sekiro that I can use as an example. Um, how about Giobo? <laughs> Could you do Giobo blindfolded without lock on at all? Because the majority um, answered, of the no. attempts, and if you could, mm -hmm. how sloppy would it be? Oh, it would be it would be very sloppy. I can guarantee yeah. it would be sloppy. I think you answered this, um, though, the main in thing for fighting anything in Sekiro is that you have to be looking at them; otherwise, the deflect just doesn't function. They'll just hit you from behind. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I couldn't them. beat the game. I know. Yeah, yeah I have exactly. Not. <laughs> uh, so that would be the hardest part of it. Um, in terms of generally keeping him somewhat in front of you, that's possible. Um, I don't think the viewers would have a good experience because every time that uh, I do that, if I can't use lock-on to center my camera vertically, every single time I end up staring at the floor or staring at up into the sky. I, I yeah. can never keep the camera. Most in of the, the time, you will all. gradually and start looking at the boss that you, for whatever reason. Possible. But this is with happens. the boss that you, I mean, I'm assuming out of 160 attempts, you probably got to Gyobo mm -hmm. at least half of the time, right? If not, pretty much all the time. Pretty much all the time. Uh, yeah. Most of the attempts ended up dying at Guardian Ape, which is the second to last boss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. And and you think that you would have massive camera issues even after I would assume like a hundred and fifty maybe even almost attempts at Giobu. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like that's the guy. By the way, guys, that's the guy. That's the guy on the horse, and he's like, my name is like that's that guy. He's like very very early in the game. Uh, also, mm -hmm. much much easier to kill than I all of it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Certainly, he's he's not that hard of a boss to be honest. No, uh, no. I mean, even you? even blindfolded, Blue if shady? you have lock on, you can basically just block all of his attacks. Just stand there blocking, and he mm -hmm. can't really hit you. Ew. 
Okay. Yeah, I guess so. And so you think that the chances of her doing that legitimately, especially after seeing the camera move up and down, are just like so astronomically no, so astronomically low that it is approaching things that are just not humanly possible. Yes, I think that's that's absolutely the 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 first easiest sort of clearest way to know. Yeah. Of course, there's obviously the other stuff other than that. The first blindfold being obviously transparent and it has to be folded to not be transparent the yeah, uh, second yeah. attempt there is clearly a third monitor that is clearly on and has something on it and is clearly hidden intentionally from camera yep. to the direct uh counter to what i told her specifically because she contacted me and i specifically said hey if you want to set up a another camera here's how you do it you show all your monitors you because if you didn't show a monitor, somebody could cheat like that. So, so make you sure told you just like this, all the monitors? Like the monitors. Uh, I don't think I specifically stated in exact words, show all your monitors. But what I did wait. say, and actually... It's probably it, show the, your monitor, you like have quote. a camera that shows your monitor, right? Something like that? It was... I can give you the exact quote. The exact quote. quote. The only two monitors that display That's a lot of evidence. information or anything related to stream are her front monitor and left-hand monitor. Well, her that's not monitor, true because the information is, oh, related to stream would be her chat. Yeah. Well, it's chatty. Which is related to her stream. The, the, Which is related well, right, to the, the stream the, still, the yeah. chatty, but it doesn't display game information. It doesn't display any, any game screen. Okay. But it can display something okay um okay so what yeah, i what ahead. i said exactly is if you only show that the monitors in front of you and and it could display the game if she wanted it to because back when she was lifting up the paper you could have easily just went into display all she would have to do is just uh make this display the main monitor right and then that monitor should have the game on it, right? Let's test it. Let's just open up this. Well, let's just do it this way. Let's just make it like this. So it's going to look weird, but it is what it is. Here's little old me just chilling right here. Okay. So the main monitor and the second monitor, all right? It doesn't matter where I put this. I have no idea it over here now so uh all i'd have to do with the game yes go into my display settings it's actually right here i could just click that but here we are i'm gonna do whatever play settings go up to my secondary monitor right Switch it so that this is now the main monitor, which then switches everything around. Even OBS, apparently. Launch the game. The game then opens on the secondary monitor. You can see the logo right there. It's going to open on that monitor. Gotta wait for the stupid thing to open. There it is. It's still there. There it is. Now it's on that monitor. And then once I get to the actual settings, I have to go through a whole bunch of fucking shit first. <laughs> there we go. Once I get to the settings, all I have to do is go like, come on, go like this. Click on this. Is it capturing this? It is. Okay. Well, it's not capturing it because you can't. Well, I mean, it's captured. Yeah, it's captured. The, what I want it to capture. Make my main display, which is everything back around. Does OBS stuff. Or, uh, yeah, OBS stuff. So all I have to do is go into the options settings, display, and then just simply change it. I can even put it to full screen if I wanted to. Tap. And now the game is on this monitor, my main monitor. And I could do the same thing right back same thing right back oh you didn't see it because it didn't capture it yet but it's it's there okay obs do an obs thing right 
So it's, it's a little hard to prove it, but like I'm, I'm not fucking with it, <laughs> right? So if I was to do it again, go from my main monitor, make this my main display to the second one over there. Put the game back on. Oh, I, when I full screen it, it immediately went over to the other monitor. So that's, I mean, that's also a little crazy. Let's see if it'll do that by itself again. I didn't even know it could do that. I thought I had to change the setting for sure. Make my main display. There it is. The game. And now it's on. So, I mean, it's super easy. Super, super easy. It doesn't even matter what you have on the screen. If it can, if it can display something, it can display something. Right? So, she could have even done that. She might have actually minimized OBS and just did it this way. Because I know that trying to play the game through OBS is not as easy as uh, people may think it is. Because I've tried to do that one time. It, I've tried to do it multiple times. I totally lied. But... <laughs> I tried to do it um, way back in the day when I first started streaming and uh, recording videos. I would try to play the game through OBS, but OBS does not display the game at the uh, the same time. So there's like a delay basically, right? But you could easily just do it this way. Just change the displays and do it just like that. But uh, what are the chances of her thinking like that? Not 100% sure because I also did it just now. I didn't even know I could do that. So there it is. I have to change all this back one sec. And that is my example. You're welcome. <laughs> you are turned off. Then it's always possible to have a monitor that isn't shown on the camera unless mm -hmm. you set up like 10 cameras to capture every inch of the room. So that is that is what I said. I specifically mentioned you need to... I, I guess I didn't say you need to show this, but I said... If you don't show all of them, it's always possible to have one off screen that isn't shown. That is mm. what I said. So why do you think that she didn't cover the third monitor? Is that me? That's not me. Dapper. Is it me? She Dapper, has her Dapper. chat. She had her chat information on her third monitor. So and again, the so only the, two. Well, and the only wait two a second. Was, so the logic is sure. that she didn't show the monitor because the monitor wasn't relevant. Is that correct? For that's that's point one. The, the monitor itself was not relevant, and the second thing is that she only had access to one additional camera, and in order to display her hands and mouse and the other monitors that would have had game information on it, she wouldn't be able to display everything all in one setting. Easily well, could just she move, could. The, just she move just the camera back. The camera a little bit more to the right. Yeah, turn the camera a little bit more, or just move it back within view. Yeah, because not the way that not the way that her monitors are set up on her desk. No, we both tried to do that. We tried to arrange it so that everything was shown, and it was one of it was a situation Physically? where you, you could either only see one or not the other, and it, it, we could get the most information that people would want to see mm -hmm. and have questions about with the camera oh, angle. Three that was chosen. Uh. Okay, so if that's the case and she didn't think that monitor would be relevant to the conversation and it was okay that she had that monitor uncovered, then why didn't she read chat at the beginning whenever that person said that they were going to make up another lie? So we, we went over this too. Uh, she was able to read a message in chat even though this monitor where chat is is covered up okay so she read that chat off the third monitor that is clearly not covered up she only has three monitors that we're aware of uh she only has three monitors both of these two are covered up and she's looking at the third chat most likely in obs because what else could it be right well he said it was chatty but like chatty's over here I'm pretty sure it was proven that chat the chat is actually over here instead for whatever reason. I don't I don't fully like this is why you have to show everything because it's like what could be on that third monitor, you know? Um but what she did was she read it off the third monitor and then went over here to look for that message to read it again because the chat is actually on this monitor over here. What ended up happening time. was that 
and that that's why I wanted to ask you this question, is that mm -hmm. if you're saying that she she didn't do it because she didn't think the monitor would be relevant, and if mm -hmm. she didn't think the third monitor would be problematic, then why was she pretending to read it off of the sheet of paper rather than reading it off of the chat on the third monitor? I don't know. I'm I wasn't there to ask her that question myself. If you were me, what? why would you think that would be? If I'm sorry? If you were me in mm -hmm. this situation mm -hmm. and you saw that happen, mm -hmm. what would sure. you think? Uh, right. I, I I think I can understand what you're at least implying or insinuating. Yes. You are you're 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 insinuating that, that with the present she... amount of information it's obvious that she sure. was trying to make people believe that she only had two monitors because if she wasn't she would have covered it. And if she thought that having the third monitor be there in the first place was okay, she wouldn't have tried to hide and then stop herself wow. mid-sentence and then read it off of the second monitor again if she was okay that the chat was there on the third monitor. And if she knew that the third monitor was compromising her, then she would have never looked on the second monitor. Weird. And if she and knew that... Go ahead. Anyway. Sorry, sorry. She, she was ne I don't think that she was ever trying to hide the presence of a third monitor at all, period. Okay. I don't think that she was trying to mask anything. I don't. I, it really was, in my opinion, or at least I would think her opinion, a non-issue. If it was like, a like, non-issue, like, then why didn't? And again, it, it, th then why did she I'm try sorry. to? Why did she look under the paper? She looked the under the paper, monitor. though. Yeah, she said, "I forgot what you said," and then she turned and around then looked and looked under tried the paper. To look in the under the paper for the second monitor. Yeah. Why would you logically do that? Like you know, for example. It's like if you have one monitor and it's running chat and you have another mm -hmm. monitor with a sheet over it and it's mm -hmm. also running chat and you're reading off of the third mon the, th the third monitor and then you, you stop yourself. You're like, wait, what did you say again? And then you pull up the sheet of paper to look on the second monitor? Yeah. It doesn't logically make sense. It really doesn't. And also I think that there is proof that she had OBS on the third monitor. There is. And I think the proof for that is the fact that after she pulled up the blindfold, she moved her hair back as she looked towards the third monitor. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a person do that when they're not looking in the mirror. That's true. No, but I don't think that that's what happened. And and again, my my question. For, so I'm actually I'm getting a message from her. She is trying to answer your questions. Oh, now she's Apparently now she's texting you. Ch the chatty doesn't show, such as flagged messages or flagged content. The chatty does not show. I'm pretty sure it wasn't flagged content because the person had a uh, they're a, they're a subscriber, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't have been flagged. Because you see, like, because if they're a bit subscriber or a uh, a subscriber right there, I'm assuming the crown is because they were. Um, subscribed uh it wouldn't have flagged their message yep and also if the message was flagged then uh carl wouldn't have been able to see it because it wouldn't have shown in the chat replay yeah so it wouldn't have, have shown it would just been blocked immediately unless it was displayed naturally on stream yeah exactly yeah, I'm, I'm sorry i i wasn't there so i'm not entirely sure yeah sure i, I, get I mean it. I, no, it's, I, it's not I'm, your stream i i, I yeah, yeah, I'm I get relying it. a lot of past information, and it's it's difficult for me to answer questions about what's going on at that particular moment. Of course, you know, and 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 as a person, again, I'm I'm trying to look at this from a bird's eye view here because, again, you, Asmongold, you are a true professional. Well, I just want to know that, like, if you weren't here on this day, then why are you here trying to cover up? Why are you here trying to defend her? If you weren't here this day, why are you here defending her? You you clearly don't know. So I don't understand your your reasoning for being here to try and defend something when you weren't even present, as you just said. Well, not a, not a, not doesn't make any sense to me. Games and being able no, to tell that no. they're they're fake. I I'm, I don't know that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying as a streamer though, and, oh, yeah. and so whenever whenever a person who is has been streaming, in her case, for uh, uh, ten to thirty to seventy viewers, she just got partner literally a week and a half before this all happened. And all of a sudden, her stream explodes, and the world comes after her, saying that everything she did in this thing is fake. For the very first time, she gets international attention in front of uh, a large audience such as yours, and overnight practically explodes. And then is expected to perform 
a world record yet again under extremely stringent specifications while the entire world is watching. You're blindfolded and you're setting a world record. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in itself is stressful. Just be thankful you don't have all those people behind you watching you. You know what I mean? Like being physically present. Imagine that kind of stress. You don't even have to look at them. You just got to do what you've been doing the entire time again for a third time. I think it's understandable for someone for a to get time. a little flustered. And I'm not saying that or how many times you did it, but like one, two, you know what I mean? All this stuff just goes up. You did it once. You did it twice. This time with a bit more pressure, right? The window. But what I'm asking you is to give her the opportunity to prove that she can do it. Under and she was given that opportunity. She actually went straight on ahead to try and prove it the second time. That was the opportunity. For any specifications that any expert out there would recommend. That's a good point. Give her, give, give her a chance to prove that she can do what you, what she says she can do. If you want to throw the gauntlet down, I'm sure that there are people who can come up with constraints that will make sense out of it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, um, I would ask. I would also, ask very graciously. You said she's texting you. She's listening to the argument. What's the problem yeah, with OBS? Yeah. I mean, at that point, she should have just came in and tried to defend herself. Uh, pff, come in, defend yourself. <laughs> There Don't are send the mod, man. Come on. Inputs. She has a streaming PC and she has a gaming PC. And so when she, has she two turns PCs. her monitors off, multiple inputs could cause the one of the inputs to default to one of the other PC monitors. Or the other PC. What software setup. does she I, I don't know anything about dual PC streaming. I only know that there is a possibility that seems to have been fixed because this possi this thing happened years ago to me. But uh, ever since then, I have no issues, even when buying new stuff, uh, just for a single PC. Um, seems fine to me. She used to, to do that with So she might do what I showed and be like, my PC messed up. But at the same time, your monitor's gonna be off. Who cares what game the monitor goes to, in a way? Who cares, who really cares what goes where? So long as you are streaming and you can just use your phone to do that and you have to put your phone somewhere like in plain, like turn, like you have to like turn it upside down and everything in plain view after you do that as well, by the way, like everything you do is being watched. So you have to flip that phone over, put it down after you check that your stream is still alive. Okay. I, I, so who really cares what goes where? Okay. I don't know. As long as you're still streaming. Because this is, I, I, I do know about I, this. Yeah, yeah. May I, may I add someone else to the call who may be able to add, answer the more technical aspects because I, I honestly don't know them. Absolutely. If I may, while we're waiting, I would very graciously ask that if we are given the opportunity for her to, as you said, throw the gauntlet down. Now, now she, he is, I, mean, I don't know why I said, she in a way, because she's probably asking this through him, but he is going to stick to this point the entire, for a, a good while throughout the video he is demanding i would say demanding at this point because he acts it multiple times he is demanding what parameters to set apparently by asmongold even though asmongold uh was um i was tricked we'll say because he didn't know everything that there was behind blindfold runs how you could fake it which is completely understandable but he is asking him, the mod is asking Asmongold to set parameters. The only person that wants to push to ask for parameters as much as this person did is the same person looking for routes to avoid, uh, not really avoid, but to go around those parameters, to bend the, the, to bend the rules, as you may say. Because clearly someone reached out to that blindfold professional got some information they then took all that information and then went and did another attempt a second attempt to prove it was real clearly going around the parameters a bit bending the rules a little bit and the result is you're still cheating because there's a third monitor that's not covered up that you would allow her so constantly asking what give me the rules 
in a way give me the rules set the rules for me as a person who is genuinely going genuinely going to try to go around and bend those rules efficient time to collect herself before that's a doing fact this because she has faced an inordinate amount of pressure and they're asking for time because once those parameters those rules are set in stone they're going to be looking for ways to go around those rules and those parameters that sounds it, it can be it can be very emotionally charging time for a person who is only a human being <sighs> And has been put on an international stage in front of literal millions of people oh, that don't believe God. she did something that she did indeed do. And that mm -hmm. if, if any one person in this chat or on the stream or anyone had been accused of a crime they didn't commit, I think that you would be very, uh, you would not be handling it well yourself. And that it may take time for her to get the proper setup, ensure that she has all the proper specifications, and to emotionally ready herself too. Because she, she did that the, the second time. She did that the second time and uh he was able to get past it relatively quickly quickly i don't know why i said quickly but quickly she <laughs> understands she's under a microscope so now she's probably under a very very tight microscope so i guess yeah okay okay uh who's the other person you're adding in? Uh, i'm i'm sorry i'm i'm, I'm uh adding him in yeah, and you're right. Obviously, being put under pressure like that. By the way, I I understand that you're right. I understand. Mm. Yo, what's up? Hi. Hey. What the fuck? <laughs> um, how can I help? Not like a robot. <laughs> Good question. Excellent question. Dapper. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I added you. I added you the call because you were helpful in getting Queen's PC set up and can answer more questions related to her monitors being turned off and why that would be problematic for her. Right. So um, on one of her monitors, the one that is covered, uh, it has two inputs, one for coffee. the streaming PC and the other one for her main gaming rig. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, turning it off and on again, it defaults to the other monitor. What software does she use? Uh, OBS on the streaming PC. In order to set up the two PC setup? Yeah. So it's running through a GoX, uh, sorry, a... Um, Elgato capture card. Which one? Uh, 4K. I can't be too certain on the specifics. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's find out. So I'm streaming right now. He turned off his monitor. I'm using a two PC setup. Mm -hmm. I'm using the Elgato 4K capture card. Yep. And I just turned okay. off my monitor. And the screen didn't change. Mm -hmm. It didn't change the uh, input. No. No. Why would it? And it wouldn't. And, how, um, what, what, and what, do you, what do you mean by the input? Uh, one is on HDMI cable, and another one is um, uh, DisplayPort, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it does not change the input at all in any capacity. Uh, as you can see, I can move my mouse around, and um, it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, there's my screen. I don't know if you can tell right from there. And then there's the blank monitor. And then on the other side, there's the chat. So, yeah, uh, yeah if you if you turn the monitor off, uh, it will not have any effect whatsoever on OBS because OBS is capturing the information that's being put on the screen. Regardless. Into this, yeah, onto the screen. It's not like the monitor removes the information; it just simply stops displaying it. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, I can't be sure, but she might be running OBS from her main PC, but maybe she ran into some kind of issue. Well, she was running it from her main PC. Yes, she and was. And the way I can tell yeah. that is that she, uh, what do you call it? She was showing OBS on her main PC as well. Yeah, she showed, she showed the entire thing so, on. So you right, don't yeah. know whether she was using a two PC setup or not? At the time, I don't know if she was using the two PC setup, but um, if both of them happened to be on at the same time, that's when the input issue could occur, the display. I mean. Bo both of the two PCs were on at the same time? Yeah. Um, well, I don't really think that makes sense. Uh, because... I think if, if... Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just think... I, I understand that we're trying to get to the bottom of, of that particular question. I think the yeah. answer is just to say, okay, for the next run, you turn all the monitors off. 
I do think that the monitors would have to be off. Every the single monitors monitor would, ha yeah. would have to be I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't do it the first time. And now that the monitor being on is an issue, all of a sudden they're like, okay, we'll just turn the monitors off. You know what I mean? Like they're just it, uh, like, okay, we'll just make sure that they're off next time. Like it was an issue before. And now that's being called out all of a sudden it's like, okay, so we'll just, we'll just do that. And uh, let's just move on. Be completely off. Doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, sure. Absolutely. Sure. Done. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I, I want to be uh, transparent. I want to work with the community. I want to try to do everything I... But you asked the guy, the professional who was already in the Discord call, someone asked him about the monitors, and uh, I'm pretty sure his recommendation was to capture them and turn them off, was it not? I, I actually kind of forget. I don't want to go back through a whole fucking hour video just to see it. But, like, I'm pretty sure that the thing was to capture them and to... Uh, was it to turn them off though? I actually kind of forget. Damn, I don't want to go back. I can, to, and for her to be as transparent as possible, because we understand that we're under such scrutiny. I'm not. If, if he to did say that, uh, was to uh, have them all on camera, in a way, and uh, to turn them off or to have them off, like you wouldn't. He, I'm pretty sure he said you wouldn't really need to have them off because you have a blindfold on. So. I'm telling you right now that they took those they took those parameters and they found workarounds. And the workaround was uh capture all the the monitors and uh you don't have to turn the monitors off if you have a blindfold on. So they're like, "Okay, well we'll just put t we'll just put paper on two of them. We'll make up some BS story about the third monitor and then I can just wear this professional blindfold just wear it really loosely and then I can still find a way to see that monitor, right? Like the the parameters were already set and they already found a workaround for them. So I dodge anyway. anything. I'm not trying to uh to to get away with something. I'm I have nothing to hide. She has nothing to hide. She did <clears throat> not cheat. He did. Um So I'm not sure uh who, who what what's the name of the person that the third person that was added uh that they explained the tech stuff. Sorry, I'm not sure if I got your name. Uh, McLeaves. McLeaves, have you seen this video and do you do you understand like the nuances to the video at least to a, a relative extent? Uh, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the the topic. The blindfolds run. Yeah, I uh, I have been keeping an eye on it. Yes. So what do you think? I think it's entirely possible that she 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 actually managed to do it. I've seen her kill this. Um... Uh, this monster listen to this reasoning oh my god <laughs> listen times. to this one sometimes while like she's playing and she could turn around and look at you and still be killing the monster so i think it's entirely possible do you think it's likely yes okay um so why do you think that your opinion of it is so much different in terms of like your likelihood than somebody who does blindfolded speed runs all the time well i might I'm, i may be biased because you know i've seen her do it personally mm -hmm. you know okay so you've seen her but do again, it well, so be... you've seen her do it personally and whenever you say person yeah and uh, whenever you say personally everybody's gonna think that you've physically seen it in person do you mean in person or yeah. you've seen it yourself yeah uh, in person physically yes you've okay. physically seen her do altrion blindfolded not blindfolded, not per se. Okay. But um, okay. as she's playing, like looking around the room, acting like, you know, she's not even looking at the screen. Yeah. She isn't sure. even looking at the screen. L listen. Uh, there is a few moments where you don't have to look at the screen to know what you're doing. So you could be mid game shooting something. We're not going to put like PvP games into it because like PvP games. Anything can happen at any moment. The second you look away, you're dead in a PvP game. But if you were to play something like uh, Helldivers 2 and just run around and kill stuff, there are moments where you could look away for a couple of seconds and still manage to shoot the bug because the, where's the bug going to go, right? Like the bug has, like you could reasonably position yourself. I'll just fucking do it. I'll just fucking do it. Whatever. Let's just do this. Also, looking around the room, what do you, so she's just doing this the entire time? Like, ah, da, 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 da. Oh, I gotta paint my walls purple one day. 
Still killing the boss? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who the fuck's doing that? So here's a bug right here, right? So there's a lot of bugs right here, actually. So you could actually aim in and like look up for a few seconds and then go back, right? You can aim up. Right? Right? You can look up, you can look sideways. Well, there's a monitor over there, but. Right. I think, the be I think looking sideways is bad because peripheral vision. I think looking up is probably the best way to do it. Okay, so there are moments where you could, you could look away from oh. something for like a split second and still shoot them. I have no idea if any of those are actually good examples, but I mean, the point is that you could look away for a couple seconds and still hit your hit your target to an extent. Now these are bosses, so like you could easily look away for a couple seconds and hear what the boss is going to do, but only for like a couple seconds. I'm probably looking away longer than I would I actually would if I was actually playing the game. Remember the machine gun. There's also mouse smoothing. So like when I when I aim at something, it takes a while for the mouse to actually get there. There's a lot of variables in this game. But for the most part, you could look away for a few seconds and still hit the target. I think that's my main point. And I, I think I I hope I proved that because I don't I don't even know. <laughs> if I did, I'll know in the recording if I did or not. I don't want to really abandon these guys. I'm just gonna finish this mission. I'm gonna just cover this issue now. People are gonna be like, well, how do I know you're just not looking at OBS? Well, because I could literally just look at OBS and just hit the target straight on. Like I could just I could just look at OBS and just hit the target straight on. I don't have a reason to lie here. Like <laughs> I don't have an actual reason to lie. Got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how many I got there. Only one, I guess only one. You can look away from your monitor for a few seconds. But if you're going to tell me that she's constantly looking away, just randomly looking away, one, peripheral vision is still involved. Two, the only way that peripheral vision might not be involved is if she looks fully up at the ceiling, right? Fully up. But even then, who fully knows, right? But, well, I know because I'm looking fully up. I can't see the monitors down here, but I'm looking fully directly up. So even if she was to look around, she could still have a peripheral vision of the monitor, right? Unless she is looking fully straight up. Okay. But even then she could be like, like this and you could still see here. I could see uh, if I move my eyes then I can see a bit, but like, I know that I can probably see a bit here. And then here is where I can't really see anything here, but I can see this monitor over here, but I can't see what's happening on it. And then here I, I got no I got no vision down here at all. So when it when it comes to looking up, if I look sideways, I can see this monitor. If I look sideways, I can see that monitor and a little bit of this monitor. But I have to probably like aim at this monitor to see that monitor. So going side to side is whatever. You can still relatively see your peripheral visions and adjust accordingly. That's why I was doing the heads up all the way up thing because that would probably be a better example. And again, if you look away for a few seconds you can still pretty much relatively hit your target, but you're not gonna be looking away for as long as I was looking away. You're only gonna be looking to say what's up or hi, and then uh, something like that. You might not even look away at all, right? So. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would assume that. That's Hopefully that example fun. comes out the way that yeah, I want okay. it to come out. So both of you like, like effectively out. know her in, in real life. And so it would make sense that you're both able to actually see her do this in person and everything. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think about whatever else there is to it because, like, yeah, I, I think that it just seems extremely unlikely that she's able to center her camera in the extent that she is. And also, uh, you said that you helped her set up all of her tech stuff? Yes. Can you explain what each monitor would be for? Um, usually the left-hand monitor would be for um, OBS. Middle monitor, obviously the main gaming monitor, and over the right hand side, uh, chatty and uh, sometimes Spotify. Also, the control and okay. alt keys in Monster Hunter center the camera, 
and and Asmongold may ask a question because I'm trying to formulate. A I just want to say that when you're watching her camera movements, uh, in any game you play where it's auto auto sensor, where you push a button, it'll auto center it back to where it's supposed to be. When you push those buttons, it'll center it right back. It'll, it'll you can tell the difference. It looks like someone has like aimbot the way that it centers it right back to the middle, right? It won't center it right back to the boss. Like it won't go fucking boom. It'll just center it back in the direction that you're looking at the current time. That's it. It'll just center it, right? So if the boss is behind you and you hit that button running forward, if you're looking behind you, it might center it onto the boss because the boss is behind you. You're looking at it. So it might go foomp, right? But if you're looking forward, running forward and you hit it, uh, it's not going to center it back on the boss behind you. It's not going to do that. It's going to center it in the direction that you're, that you're looking, right? I'm trying to form. And you can tell when someone pushes that button because the way it looks is not, it's not natural. It just boom, just right there. There it is. If you watch her gameplay, the, the centering is not snappy. It's kind of just fluid movement. We'll say it's fluid movement. Relate the conditions for which we would potentially be repeating this. Um, as you could, un as you all could understand, the entire run itself, in anywhere between ten to fifteen to twenty, or as many as thirty minutes, for a completed run, of course, mm -hmm. is, is a is a notable feat. My question to you is: if this is a question of her camera of her ability to center her camera, then would you say that it's fair that all she has to do is replicate a small portion of a run? For example... No. Uh, she cannot be trusted. She cannot do a small portion now. They're trying to look for loopholes to get around certain things. That's exactly what's happening right here. Uh, I myself would have done the same thing, asked the same... Not the same question, but a relatively close to question where I would say, what if she does it, but does it shorter, right? What if, she, cause the thing's gonna take too long. What if she just does like 10 minutes of the whole run? No, the full run fully blindfolded with the parameters that the community sets. You cannot just say, let, let, let's just attack the boss for five minutes. And if she can do it for five minutes, good enough. Like, no, <laughs> that's not gonna fly, bro. Five minutes. No rather than the entire thing. No, she has to do the entire thing blindfolded, okay? She is claiming to be setting, wait, does, did she claim to set a world record? S someone in here mentioned the world record, okay? If a world record is on the line, then she has to do the entire thing. There is no half-ass. She has to do the entire thing. She, they're trying to make an escape goat already. I don't know that um, because I don't like, so the entire thing as i said after this video i don't know what i don't know mm -hmm. okay that's fair. so uh, I would, i'm just I, asking like the I, entire I, I thing really has to be done that. i don't even care so control and the control and alt buttons recenter the camera is that correct that that's correct okay give me one second um i'm gonna okay. go you ahead you can see her use it not in the first attempt but she does use it in the second kill she uses uh alt a few times she never uses control um, but they are, I think I counted a total of two times that mm -hmm. she uses it to center the camera vertically, and almost every other time is to make a snap 90 degree turn, not to center the camera vertically. Okay, so okay. if I use... I think she uses it in total around six or seven times. Okay. So, and I want to make sure that I'm inside of the... I'm inside of the boss fight with all Trion. So we have a complete perfect test for this. Uh, give me one second. And Interesting sure that they just didn't edit this part so out and just go right to the boss. So you're saying that in order to maintain the camera elevation, what she ended up doing was she was pressing the alt key, which is what recenters her camera. You see how he, in you see how he did that? Food buff and everything so I don't get hit in one kill. So you're saying that in order to maintain the camera elevation, what she ended up doing was she was... So his character is facing to the right. Pressing the alt key, which is what... Well, not, yeah, okay, yeah, his character is facing to the right. He pushed the key. The camera went in the direction that the character is facing. That's what I 
tried to explain, but I probably did a fucking poor job at it earlier. But it is what it is. In order to keep that in the same. Position. But it goes in the direction that you're looking, right? Position is that correct? I'm saying she did not do that. I'm saying that so then there how did were she two instances the where you could argue that she used it that way. There were two instances where her camera was a bit high. She pressed alt and it reset to neutral. And every single other time that she wanted to reset it to neutral, she did it manually using her mouse. Mm -hmm. Well, how would she be able to know that it wasn't neutral if she was blindfolded? Exactly. I don't know. I, I If you had to guess. Do not know. Um... My guess, or at least the explanation that I believe that she would give, and I, I'm, I'm confident that she would give, is there is a setting in the game audio settings okay. called 3D audio, which claims to give uh, an idea of whether a monster is above or below you in a 3D sense. As far as I'm aware, headphones are not good at that at all. I just want to say that... Um... In order for that to actually work, would the monster not have to be above or below you, right? So if you had a monster that could dig underground, in order for that to work, the monster itself would have to be underground for you to hear the monster is underground, right? Uh, if the monster can fly and the monster is now above you, you could hear that the monster is above you, right? Um, so depending on where the monster was when she hit the alt key to center it back is going to be very interesting because if the monster was not in the air, how would she know that where she's looking? So I'm pretty sure they're claiming that, she, um, she knows where she's looking up and down because of the monster and she can hear the monster. And when she looks up, the monster is not up. So therefore, uh, she's looking up. I, don't think that's how that works. I don't play this game to fully know, but I'm, I can tell you that for most games that I do play, if you're looking up and the monster or whatever it is, is on the same level as you are still, uh, you're not going to know that you're looking up until the monster actually flies up. And uh, even then you don't really know if you're still looking up because you just, all you know is that the monster is now up in the sky. Okay. All and the human. So unless this setting is different, to how it actually reacts and if and if the character looks up and the monster is actually like at level still and not in the sky then i i guess the sure air itself is I, I get the idea of what i want to say but i'm not exactly entirely sure how to explain it all i know is that i don't see how that could be possible if the monster is still on the same level as you and not up in the sky and i don't understand how you looking up when your ears are horizontal. Um, I don't understand how you looking up will all of a sudden make it seem like you're above and the monster is below when you're walking on the same ground level as the monster. And that's the best way I'm probably going to be able to explain that. Horrendously bad at telling. Uh, well, I don't get down. it. It's actually a, a well-known like audio phenomenon where you can very easily be confused and think something that's above you is coming from below you because the human ear just like we've got an ear on each side of our head so left and right is easy to I hear understand. up and down sucks so if i look at if i look at you know for example like hitting the button to recenter the camera there's never an instance where recentering the camera will ever aim at altrion's head right like there's never there's never a time where for example, if I recenter the camera, it would aim at the head of Altrion. It would mm -hmm. consistently keep it moved to where it was in a certain direction. And also, like, yep. I'll, I'll tell you that, like, at least from my experience, uh, you definitely can't tell whether it's... And, and, like, again, I've killed this monster literally once on the actual mode and once on easy mode. So I don't really know what I'm talking about in terms of like the nuances of it, mm -hmm. but there's like no way in my mind to be able to hear. And I, I haven't played the game. So like in most games, when you hit a button that automatically recenters something, it'll recenter in the direction that your character is currently running. Any sort of audible it could be different for this game too. Monster's head is above or below Maybe I should you. just play the game and figure it uh, out. Yeah, I attempted it myself and I could not tell. I was looking okay. up uh, at the ceiling for three attempts, I was looking at the floor. Then for two attempts, where I was trying not to look at the ceiling, I was actively trying to push my camera down. Um, but I 
in zero attempts ever kept the camera horizontal despite all my blindfolded uh, practice. The only way that I could is there's a setting in the game settings where you can actually turn off uh, vertical camera movement at all. Like it just only goes horizontal. Yeah. And that was super helpful. And I was surprised. But she didn't have that on. That yeah, she didn't used. do that. Yeah. 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 And the other yeah. people that did do blindfolded speed runs all used that setting. Yeah. Either or that or the auto. I yeah, think the, uh, the actually every on, other yeah. one the that I've seen on. has used a lock on. I don't think any of them have used the locked uh, up camera. and down yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, movement. Yeah, I, I think they just didn't want to deal with like trying to echolocate the entire fight. Uh, right. In Sekiro, the only times I ever echolocate yeah. are when the lock on misses or uh, a couple times I have to grab an idol, which makes like a low hum, but that's, yeah, it's horrible strategies. I hate when I sure. have to do it, but sure, yeah. there's just a couple times you have to. I understand. Yeah. May I add? May I add our resident electron or latron expert who taught her how to fight the monster to maybe explain some of the techniques as an expert. Yeah, and now in we're bringing monster. in another sure. fucking expert. And also, like I, I will say that the the way that the camera is readjusted in the situation that you're talking about with like holding the alt or the control key does not re does not reflect at all the way that she re recentered the camera it's immediate it's extremely like robotic yeah and there are it's no micro snappy. adjustments that happen at all yeah and it never recenters the camera on the head and it actually recenters the camera in front of where the character is facing so like if my character oh, okay. is facing this way it will recenter it uh, 90 okay. degrees. So yeah. In so the character, like if my character's running left, it will recenter it left. Yeah. Okay. So it does do what I thought it would do. I think. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's what I was saying before. That uh, it's used a few times throughout the run, but it's never specifically used uh, to. Well, it's used maybe twice to center vertically, and it yeah, it's never used to and aim on the it's head. Never. Yeah. It's never normally. used to readjust. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. So the person that you're adding in is a the person who like knows a lot about killing the boss. I do. Okay. How many times have you killed the boss? Uh, 8,800. Okay. Damn. Do you think that the kill that she did while she was blindfolded was legitimate? I do. Why? Uh, there's been a lot of times that I've seen her personally run it in Discord. Can you do it? I did it two years ago. Where? Two, three years ago, something like that. In my own personal Discord, once upon a time. On oh, a dare. but there's and like... Okay. There's no proof of him doing it, basically. Unless he has that so clip in the Discord. So you were able to do a blindfolded, and... What do you think about the video that was released about it? About Carl's video? Yeah, Carl's video. I watched bits and pieces of it. So I watched his and Abyssoth's actually. I actually found Abyssoth's to be better. Okay. More explanation. Mm -hmm. So what did Abyssoth, what was this, what was the... Well, Abyssoth actually like consulted Bubsy and he uh, went through and, you know, kind of showed like the, uh, the, the ability to peek through said bottom of mm -hmm. the blindfold, I guess. The blindfold that was recommended by all of the, what I guess, you know, professional blindfold speedrunners. It was recommended by me. Oh, was it? Okay. Yep. Sorry, Mr. You and I have not had a chance to actually well, speak yet. Didn't you get that information from a professional blindfold speedrunner, though? Mentrix, and also, can you... I could have swore. If <laughs> Maybe you not. tilt your head in a certain way, can you see through that blindfold? Through? Oh, wait. Was that, the, was that the pro that spoke? I don't even know. There's so many people here, I can't tell whose voice is what. No. <laughs> Below, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, Below. Beside, yes. Yeah, it, it is. it is possible with any any blindfold like any blindfold mm -hmm. to potentially see down because it just creates a gap with your nose yeah. um the one that i recommended does have a little uh fabric it has that like little fabric flap when i was like there's no way she could see through that there's a flap right there but no she you can it's sort of supposed to prevent that because mm -hmm. it's a sleep mask that's yeah. what blindfolds are, effectively are, are without yeah. you know getting yourself you know investigated by the fbi or something i don't know yeah but um so it's supposed to keep the light out from the bottom but that that little fabric flap at the bottom doesn't do a 
a great job. I can definitely see out through a hole next to my nose if I if I try to. Mm -hmm. So, like, what you're saying is that if, if, for example, you did tilt your head in a certain way with that blindfold on that you suggested, you could very easily be able to see the screen. Just uh, very simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I don't even really know what else to say. I mean... So you think that it's legitimate and you think that like, cause it, it's kind of crazy to me that pretty much every single other person who's done any sort of blindfold speed running at all, doesn't think it's legitimate. And that's what I think makes this interesting is that you said that you think that it is. True. I think there's two of them. Is that correct? Sorry, the and the other guy. guy. Asriel, right? Yes. Yes. Asriel. Sorry. There's a lot of new people. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. No, and that's fine. That's fine. That, uh, like, I, I'm trying to figure out who you're addressing. Yeah, yeah, um, sorry. No, I, I, I find it to be legitimate. I have no reason not to believe so. So, um, what about the evidence that was presented? Like, for example, that she had the third monitor and she had OBS on the third monitor? Mm -hmm. what do you um, I've seen the setup. It's chatty. So, chatty doesn't reflect the video. Can't she move OBS I mean, on the third monitor with chatty? I mean, it's very possible that she did. I don't see why she did. Uh, like, I don't find, I don't see a camera on it moving it over. So I can't verify that. The only person well, that would honestly know would be her, correct? Well, there's an input on the video that suggests that she did move something over. And the only thing on that monitor at the time was OBS. Not necessarily, because like, so whenever Carl showed oh, his bad. video, and this is a pretty important again. part of the video, he showed mm -hmm. that she had the mouse button clicked down, mm -hmm. and then yeah. the mouse was also detecting. She control. put she put the paper on the monitor. OBS was still on the monitor when she put the paper on it. She then immediately looked under the paper, grabbed her mouse, and moved something from that monitor to the right. And the only thing on that monitor was OBS. Because the mouse, it detects all movement, right? Yeah. Including correct. So and by also the same movement. token, she could have been dragging Spotify. She could have been dragging whatever over there, correct? That wasn't, that was not, Spotify or anything else wasn't on that monitor, though. Yes, that is correct. But don't you find it so to be... So evident, oh, like evident. Yeah, no, I find it. I find it. I find all of the speculation. I find that he took two weeks to come up with a whole bunch of plausible ideas like hey let's look at lock on hey or let's look at what was it uh, aimbot really aimbot one person in the world has the software yeah so so let's i think look at that the reason things. why it was obs is because mm -hmm. whenever she finished doing just because one person has a software doesn't mean they couldn't have sold it to somebody else the uh whenever she finished doing the run and she took her blindfold off she fixed her hair looking at the third monitor that's only something that a person on camera would do. Yes. You think? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, I've been in Discord calls with her before. I've seen her fix her hair for no apparent reason. Yes, because she's probably looking at herself in the Discord call. You can see herself somehow. Or she yeah. took her blindfold off, moved her headset around, and moved her hair out of the way of her headset. I don't know. It well, does. She put, I mean, I, I understand. Put I understand the headset what you're down, saying. though. You're saying that, she not? like, basically, the only time anybody fixes their hair is when they stare in a mirror. I think that. Ever... I I mean, that's what I do. Uh, there are times where I will move my hair out of the way, and uh, I'll like do this in like certain situations. But like, I have OBS right there. Uh, the only time I will actually attempt to fix my hair to make it like spiky. Is when I have some way to look at the hair to see what it actually looks like, which usually involves a mirror or OBS. But there are times where I'll just do this, but that's usually because uh, stress reasons. Usually, I don't just do that to fix my hair. I do that because like I want to get the fuck out of here. Run your hand through your hair. I want to get the fuck out of here. Um. Whenever okay. I ch whenever I m I do that, but you're not right. to fix it. Uh, of course, I think everybody does that. 
but mm -hmm. I think that whenever I do that, I look in different places and I don't look in the one place that I'm also showing chat from. Yeah. And yes, also, chat, I'm flirting. Uh -huh. And so um, also whenever I do that, I'm not, I'm usually trying, and, and if I do have a mirror in front of me, when I When there's will a mirror, you, you'll usually I do think it anybody when there's would, a naturally. way to see yourself. If you're fixing your hair or moving your, your hand through your hair, you're probably going to be looking at a mirror. Yeah, you're looking at something. If a mirror is present. Is, yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. So, yeah, that, that's what makes me think that she moved OBS. Is because, obviously, the... So, like, basically, based off of the movements of the mouse, it is evident that she probably moved a program yeah. over to that other monitor. I still think it's OBS, and but, yeah. based off of the fact that she looked at her hair and she moved she her then hair. she then after pretended that she didn't move something um or like pretended that she was moving that program that she did move somewhere else but in the video she wasn't holding the mouse one button she just moved the mouse like normal she didn't have anything she just moved it to reset basically and that's it her hair so whatever she moved she wasn't well she couldn't move anything whatever she was pretending to move she didn't actually move the end of the video after she took the blindfold off makes me think that it was obs mm -hmm. can i add something here as well is that right before we see her dragging uh something over to the right monitor we do see obs on the middle screen and you can kind of track her mouse movement and see that it could not have gone anywhere aside from the dragging to the right. We did yeah. actually see it on the middle monitor first. Yeah. Uh, then their dragging happens and then afterwards after the fight, it's yeah. no longer on the middle monitor. It's no longer, and you, you yeah. can see that right there at, at 13, yeah. 12. Uh, you, you, it's and right it's there when the fight's OBS done, she there, has uh, and that she would be able to see her monitor is OBS. Her monitor is like this, but she's on a Windows 11. So she ha she has the taskbar open for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it's like this. And uh, OBS is no longer on the main monitor. Even though it's right there. Right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that, again, it's just the likelihood of this being anything other than OBS is, slim. is just extremely low. Yeah. I would say it's it's bordering on just not happening. It's just not what it's not what it is. Yeah. Um, Asmongold, may I ask a question? Yeah. Um, when we, I remember on your whenever you reacted to uh, the the video that came out before she did her second run. Sure, the first initial video. You, yeah, yeah. You yourself yeah. said after it was quote unquote disproven and it was made to be fake, and you yourself said. Do I think that it's impossible? No. I think the, that it is unlikely. In fact, I think that it is less than unlikely. Watch this. Watch this. Gonna have some, some just basic logic slap you right in the face real quick. Watch this. And and again, I'm Watch, not arguing. Listen to this, what I should say. What is that? What's that? I, I'm, I'm what, not sure what, what, what does that have to do with it. So what I'm saying is, is that we're we're all talking about how these things are unlikely. That it's very unlikely that she did this. It's very unlikely. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. That's a three percent chance. It's a ninety-seven percent chance. This isn't real. What I'm asking is to, like I mentioned before, just repeat it. Um, repeat and, it. And and the difference, the difference between the first time and the second time, mm -hmm. is that whenever I made that value judgment. I didn't know how much he, I was uninformed. Yeah. He didn't know what he knows now. About the different nuances of any sort of speed running and yeah. doing it with the blindfold. Yeah. So my value oh, judgment was there was, right the was inaccurate and uneducated. It was and poor, I would say uneducated even judgment. in the case now, it is still inaccurate and only partially educated. Yep. And if I was looking to make constraints about actually doing a legitimate run... Yeah, Asmongold would not be the correct person to set the boundaries and the uh, constraints and the rules for the speedrun. It would have to come from a professional. And I'd argue that the person that set those boundaries and whatever else would also have to be there, along with someone else, to make sure that that professional is also following the same rules that they set.
okay and to watch out for any other mischief that might be going on behind the scenes okay two people both professionals have to be there one can be that guy in the stream right now the other one has to be someone who is unbiased and unaware of the situation and is just there to see if there's any cheating going on that's the best way I would consult somebody who knew more about it than I did. 100%. So using me as a reference to myself, whenever I refer to myself as an unworthy, unworthy. or unreliable... Yeah. He was uh, tricked you know, and he admitted that he was, he way was to, tricked. ...way to judge it, I don't really think that's a very good argument. Yeah. Okay. I guess I was just saying that just because something seems unlikely doesn't mean that it's impossible. And but if I something... Watch, this. watch, here comes a fucking slap right, right check back to reality. Seems unlikely. It's more, it it's probably not happening, right? Watch I mean, this. like, you know, for example, like, is it likely to flip a coin and get heads two times in a row? It's likely. Yeah, sure. Is it likely to flip a coin and get heads two hundred times in a row? It's likely. No. Are I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's possible, is the but probability very unlikely. In instance, the same. No, it's not. So, yeah. Just because there is a probability of something. Mm. not being true or being true doesn't equate all probabilities to each other yep like you're talking That's about fair. like a like a likelihood of like yeah maybe this is possible versus yeah maybe the people that are looking at this that have more experience in this than probably any of us do playing the base game even yeah. also think that it's improbable yeah sure and 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 then in you have enough vein... you have enough professionals saying that this is this is fake and here are some examples as to why it's fake I will concede that it is incredibly unlikely, and I yes. don't want to push anyone too far. I don't want to get into anything heated or a debate or anything. It's not my intention. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would very much like for her to be given an opportunity to demonstrate that she can indeed do this under the correct constraints of a, of a professional, mm -hmm. such as Mitriz or his colleagues, who would be able to set up the constraints and controls. They have to not they they can't simply just tell her what the constraints and the controls are they have to set everything up someone has to set everything it can't be her and it can't be any of her mods because they're all biased already so it has to be someone who has basically almost no knowledge of this or very little who sets it up someone confirms the setup and then she just goes and sits in that chair Okay, and then those two who set it up, watch her to see, well, I guess one person who set it up, the other person just watching. Look at her and make sure that there is no funny business going on whatsoever, okay? The mods can't be involved. The friends can't be involved. Uh, even people like Asmin and myself can't be involved because we're just going to fuck it. We don't, we don't fucking know, right? Professional, unbiased, has to be there 100% to do this in a transparent fashion. And she cannot be trusted to set it up. She cannot be trusted to do it because she already, she, she clearly can't be trusted now. Okay. Given enough time to allow herself to ready herself emotionally, physically, and, and to be able to perform it again well, under and, the proper standards. And also, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I do find it to be interesting that whenever the first video came out that was disproving her, she had no problem coming out right away yep. and saying, this video is bullshit. I'll prove you wrong. Yep. And now the second time, she's not doing that. Yeah, she's asking for more rules, more constraints, and she wants time once she is given those rules and constraints to uh, reset, we'll say. But we all know that she's going to take those rules and constraints and then try to look for a way out while she's resting. We That's, all see through the that bullshit. That to me like, seems to be very interesting. It's very interesting. And I think that the reason why is that the first video, the people that were like, basically the accusations that people had were wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no way that anyone can That's not my mouse that time. <laughs> prove what was moved where. There's no one that can definitively prove if she was able to see through or looked underneath the blindfold. And it is a very convincing argument. There's a lot of suggested evidence there. I'm not... Okay, but you also can't definitively prove that it wasn't, even though you say it was. I'm not saying that there isn't. 
Not at all. Mm -hmm. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm saying that if that is truly the question, can she do this or not? Uh, the, uh, under the under presence, the presence of, of the, the right constraints, uh, uh, but yeah. doing it correctly mm -hmm. with all the experts involved, that would that then be enough? Um, I don't know. I My really don't no. know. And that's the truth. I would have to look and see what that proof would be. Yeah. And I would have to see, I would try to figure out who it was and what it was that you would need for proof. Yeah. Because I don't know enough about it myself. Yeah. Okay. I look for All I know is that someone with an unbiased opinion has to be watching her. 100%. Forward to yeah. more conversations with Mitra's and whomever else. That Physically present in the room watching her. We could okay. talk to that would be able to give us that information in a transparent fashion so that mm -hmm. we could do this. Okay, great. Yeah, I, that I sounds very good. If she if she I, welcomes it, and she's okay with that, then yeah, that sounds good to me. Absolutely. I very much appreciate your time. I, I I know that it's been a long time on your stream, and I'm very gracious oh, yeah. for the opportunity to, for being given the, the the stage to speak to you. I'm mm -hmm. really appreciative of everything that you've done, and and for all the the coverage that you've given her and the support mm -hmm. that you gave her. I'm congratulations on your kill, and I'm very hopeful that we can do something so that we can finally put this to rest. I agree. I definitely agree. And so, yeah, if people in the community want to come up with a set of parameters or figure out what would make sense, then yes, I think that would be the best idea. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your yep, time. For I will sure. uh, take up any more of your stream, and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Absolutely. Yep. You guys, too. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it, all the insight and everything. Ooh. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. The issue is that she was already given a set of parameters, and she didn't do them. Yeah. She was given a set of parameters already, and she found loopholes and ways to go around those parameters. And now she's looking for more parameters, and then she's going to take the time to try and find loopholes and ways around those parameters to prove something again so she she can't be trusted that's basically what it comes down to invite her to otk to stream it yeah maybe yeah. knowledgeable on that's what i that's what i think should happen just have just have her go have two professionals set it up uh have one professional set the whole thing up have another professional there to make and someone else with them it doesn't have to be a professional the third guy someone else there to confirm everything that's legitimate and then simply bring her to that spot and that's the only way and then tell her all the rules and legitimacies right then and there not before and then resting you can't no no it has to be right then and there when she sits down and starts playing right you have to wear this blindfold it has to be this tight all these monitors off uh, you got three cameras, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, tell all of that right then and there as she's sitting down, okay? In the chair. She can't be trusted. It is what it is, right? Anyway, that is some, that is some drama, bro. Holy crap, I don't even play the game. <laughs> but like, listen, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do a speed run and you're gonna claim, uh, world records you bet your ass that you're gonna have people analyzing that shit like it's nothing okay you're gonna have a bunch of professionals analyzing it and then being like okay yes this is legit or this is fake and here's why basically and the professionals will know if something is legit or fake 100 percent, they'll know right they're professionals they've done it many many times many different games they know the ins and outs let's be real here that's why they're professionals okay uh, you're telling me that an amateur came in who's barely even done blindfolded runs is able to somehow consecutively consecutively do it over and over and over, right? The other guy had like, what was it? 8,000 attempts? Uh, 165 of them were blindfolded? How many of those attempts were successful, you know? Was it 165 attempts that were successful? And, well, I mean, it wasn't because he said he had like eight whatever it was six thousand eight thousand something like that it was a high fucking number that's all i know and attempts was 165 
I would argue that maybe like five of those blindfolded attempts might have been successful. But he's also a professional, so I don't know. Right? Whereas this girl isn't even using auto lock and she's not disabling that uh, vertical up and down movement in the settings at the very least, right? She just is able to move the camera as freely as she pleases. I mean, OBS is in fact 100% on that monitor. Uh, and there's just no way that you can convince me otherwise that it's not. Just based off all of the, uh, all the collective evidence that I see, right? Even the breakdown that I did, right? Anyway, this video is, is long. Holy crap. If you enjoyed this type of content, please leave it a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, when this video comes out, it's going to be a good one. Oh my God. <laughs> it's going to be deal. Okay. It's going to be good. And I hope it comes out soon, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next Chit Chats the Podcast democracy god damn i love democracy i got nightmares in my head i fear that the thoughts build up until i can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper i've been feeling weird i can't seem to focus good enough nothing's really clear sometimes it could be a little